because I like to sw swim in the sea, actually. I like to get in, in the sea. I like to go underneath, actually. I like to... It's not enough to get in. I always, when I get in the sea, I always have to at, at least once dive underneath and be, be in it. There's something beautiful about being in the... That's just like the vastness, you know. That's as close as you get to a physical connection with, with the, the movement, the wave movement of the universe, you know. You're in the, when you're in the sea. These are the waves, you know. You, these are big. These are waves that are traveling all the all the way across the ocean, and you're in it. You know, you're right in it. Then you're in it. I, I could work through phases, and I, and and uh, I, I can be in one phase and, and, I, and I think, wow, two months ago, my head was in a completely different place, you know. Life is such a strange thing, you know, and um, that, the fact that, you know, one minute you, you feel like you're in, life is like this. <laughs> and then a month later, it's completely different. Maybe not completely different, but sometimes it is. It's very, very profound, the change, you know, from uh, one month to another. If some, something shifts, you know, shifts happen. In, in the moment, you know, I'm looking for those uh, certainties, the chime of the bell. But then even they get get washed away, like I say, you know, and then uh, the, two weeks later or two months later, something else, you're looking for something else. It's a constant, it never ends, you know, never ends. My way of seeing life or the world is that I accept that, you know, in, in two, Two months or even two weeks time that might be that might be different but that doesn't matter that's the nature of things it's in this in this world you know is the is the things that are if are ephemeral <laughs>